People often ask me, Mr. Man Preaching Nothing, why are you obsessed with William Frawley? Now, uh, anybody who knows me, either through Facebook or in person or both, knows that I love Billy Clement Frawley, who lived from 1887 to 1966, born Burlington, Iowa, died Hollywood, California. So why do I like him? And I think that the reason I like William Frawley so much is because not only did he have such an expansive career, his first uh, silent film being in 1916, and his last TV appearance on The Lucy Show being 1965, that, um, so a 46-year career. I think that, um, and I'm an historian, I'm in school to be a history teacher, and obviously I love history. I love Frawley because, in, in a lot of ways, he's an escape from all of the obsessions, you might say, and, uh, uh, over the last several decades of stars or what's fashionable or hip or trendy. You know, I always, uh, you know, and I just made a video earlier today about nostalgia, how people are nostalgic for whatever decade was two decades prior. And so at any given time, I think whatever's hip and trendy is whatever is either happening right now or maybe whatever's retro. And uh, really, I think that whole culture started in the 70s when people became uh, nostalgic for the 50s. So we all know that. Well, Frawley's career predates all of that. Vaudeville in the 1910s. You know, he was the first to sing the song My Melancholy Baby in 1912. He did Lord Loveland Discovers America in 1916. And so I think I like Frawley because he is such an escape. Or one of many reasons I like him. He's such an escape from what's considered, I guess, you know, hip, trendy, or even retro. Because he's way more <laughs> retro than anything that's really considered in the realm of retro. Um, you know, he was dead in 66. And he had lived a pretty full life by that point. But I just love the fact that he can say, you know, his biggest role started at age 64. Uh, he was famous in his 60s, but his career goes back to the 1910s. He was there for vaudeville. He was there for really, and I know the screen's getting a little darker as I move from room to room. He, uh, he represents the different eras of American entertainment. You know, vaudeville, silent film, uh, then into the talkies. <laughs> you know, movies with sound, and then finally television. And uh, he just expanded so many eras. He was a singer. He was a performer. He performed with his brother Paul. He uh, came from just a small town in the Midwest in southern Iowa. And he became huge. And he was around forever. And he made a great living until he died. And I think uh, there's just so much history there. And obviously he's overlooked a lot of times. But uh, I think he's awesome. You know, and I think he... Uh, 100, over 100 character roles throughout the 30s and 40s when he got, you know, big into film. And uh, I just think there's something there that I, I wish was more well-known, you know, because uh, he goes so far back. And uh, I think he's the historian's actor in a lot of ways. And so that is why William Clement Frawley, who will be turning 127 on February 26, 2014, I'm sure I'll have another Frawley bash, so everybody's welcome to be a part of that. Uh, these are the reasons uh, that I love him so much. And, you know, I've always loved, like I say, I love history. Grew up with my grandfather, um, who's uh, from southern Indiana, and his father, my great-grandpa, who I was always heard you know, stories about, was born in the same year as Frawley, 1887. And they worked at the same time at Omaha Pacific Railroad before Frawley uh, you know, went back uh, or, or rather kind of delved into the entertainment business. He worked at uh, an office job at Omaha Pacific or Union Pacific Railroad in Omaha, Nebraska. Would have been there at the same time my great-grandpa was. So I've always loved history, thanks to my grandpa and my great-grandpa. The time frames add up, um, you know. My grandpa and great-grandpa are from kind of the south slash Midwest, Indiana, Illinois, not too far from Frawley's home state of Iowa. So, you know, the connections are there, the love of history, the expansive career. And so I say that William Frawley will be forever my favorite actor.